Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take this opportunity to talk with you about urinary tract infections. In this five to seven minute video, I will discuss the causes, the evaluation, and the treatment for this common urologic condition that affects millions of American men and women. A urinary tract infection begins in your urinary system. Your urinary system consists of your kidneys, the tubes that connect the kidneys to the bladder, the ureter, the bladder, and the urethra, or the tube that transports urine to the outside of the body. Most infections involve the lower urinary tract, that is, the bladder and the urethra. Women are at greater risk for developing urinary tract infections than men. A urinary tract infection may be limited to the bladder, which causes annoying symptoms that consist of frequency, urgency of urination, and painful urination. However, serious consequences can occur if the infection goes from the bladder and backs up to the kidney. Usually, the treatment consists of antibiotics, and there are steps that can be taken to reduce your risk of developing urinary tract infection. The signs and symptoms of a urinary tract infection are burning on urination, frequency, urgency of urination, getting up at night, occasionally can have blood in the urine and be associated with pelvic and or back pain. If there are symptoms consisting of fever, chills, and back pain, this may be an indication of a more severe kidney infection. Let's look at the causes of a urinary tract infection. It is usually due to bacteria. Bacteria enter the urinary tract through the urethra and then begin to multiply in the bladder. Usually this is a result of the natural defense mechanisms that are malfunctioning, malfunctioning or fail. Most common urinary tract infections occur in women and affect the bladder and the urethra. This condition is called cystitis and is usually caused by an E. coli bacteria that is found in the gastrointestinal tract. Sexual intimacy may lead to cystitis but you don't have to be sexually active in order to develop a urinary tract infection. All women are susceptible to cystitis because of their anatomy. There is a close proximity of the urethra to the rectum and a short distance from the urethral opening to the bladder. Urethritis is a condition that occurs when the bacteria from the rectum make the short trip from the rectum to the urethra. Other causes include sexually transmitted diseases such as herpes, gonorrhea, and chlamydia are also possible causes of urethritis and urinary tract infections. Let's look at the evaluation. The evaluation consists of a history, a physical exam, an examination of your urine under the microscope called a urinalysis. Also, urine may be sent to a laboratory for a culture to identify the organism or the bacteria causing the infection and the appropriate antibiotic that should be selected for the treatment of your urinary tract infection. Occasionally, an abdominal ultrasound, a CT exam, and a cystoscopy may be required. The treatment of a urinary tract infection consists primarily of the use of antibiotics, and it depends on the type of bacteria found in your urine. A simple, uncomplicated urinary tract infection can be treated with amoxicillin, nitrofurantoin, cipro, levaquin, or bactrim. The symptoms usually clear up within a few days of treatment. I strongly suggest that you take the entire course of antibiotics recommended by your doctor to ensure that the infection is completely eradicated. Uncomplicated urinary tract infections that occur in a healthy 
a younger woman can often be treated by a short course of antibiotic treatment for approximately three days. You may require some pain medication to relieve the symptoms of painful urination. This medication turns the urine bright red, uh, orange, or blue. If you have a complicated urinary tract infection, you may require a longer course of antibiotics. For patients who have recurrent urinary tract infections that are related to sexual intimacy, often a single dose of antibiotic after sexual intimacy is in order. For postmenopausal women who have dryness of the vaginal mucosa, occasionally topical estrogens or oral estrogens are required. For severe infections consisting of flank pain, fever, chills, and nausea may require hospitalization and treatment with intravenous antibiotics. Urinary tract infections can be prevented. I recommend consuming large quantities of water. Make sure your urine turns nearly white instead of dark yellow. Cranberry juice may have infection-fighting properties, but I caution you if you are taking the blood thinner Coumadin or Warfarin, you should not take uh, cranberry juice as this can contribute to bleeding. Be sure to wipe from front to back so the bacteria from the rectum is not mobilized or passed to the vagina and then to the urinary tract. I also recommend urinating right after intercourse so any bacteria that are inserted into the urethra can be washed out or voided away right after intercourse. I also recommend avoiding deodorant sprays or other feminine products such as douches and powders in the genital area because they can irritate the urethra. In summary, a urinary tract infection is a common condition that affects both men and women. However, women have infections more frequently than men. A urinary tract infection is easily diagnosed with a urinalysis a urine, and a urine culture. The treatment is usually with a short course of antibiotics, and there are steps that you can take to prevent these infections. I hope you found this video useful on urinary tract infections, and for those of you who have additional questions, please do not hesitate to look on my website www.neilbaum.com or you're welcome to contact my office at 504-891-8454. Thank you.